you guys know I really can't dance, but I really feel like on the inside of me, there's a dancer. Like, I know, like, I can be like, mm, 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 to my movements, but on like, the inside, like, your girl be. Welcome to my channel once again. I am really feeling this vibe of sitting down talking to you guys. I'm loving it. I have no complaints. Hopefully you don't. We're definitely going to be talking about food. It's just a different vibe, you know? We're talking. I'm looking in your eyes. You're looking into mine. I'm not in the kitchen. Thank you, Jesus. But we're still going to talk about food. But before we get into that, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll go ahead and wait. Let me You subscribe? You're part of the familia now? Well, welcome. Thank you so much. And go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you do get something out of this video. Um, so jumping right into it, uh, as you see in the title, is five, that's going to be 10. Let me get it together. Five <laughs> staple meals I feel like every woman should know how to make for their spouse or just themselves. So it's not in any particular order. It's just five staples I feel like we should make. So let's get into it. Or we should know how to make, all right? And this is not, you can definitely ketify it. These are just five dishes. And like, that's not keto. You can definitely ketify, ketofy it if needed. But we're just talking about five different dishes, all right? Let, don't, don't come for me, okay? So first one for me <laughs> would be spaghetti. I feel like everyone should know how to make spaghetti. Like not only is it easy on the pockets, it lasts you forever. It tastes bomb, warmed up. It tastes even better the next day. It's pretty easy and it, you know, it can go different ways. Let me know in the comments if you put your spaghetti, like mix it all together or if you just kind of put your meatballs on top and your sauce on top of the noodles. I'm a mix in together type of girl but let me know let me know what you do but one of my tips for spaghetti for sure or a couple of my tips for spaghetti for sure is that you need to add a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity and i do add bell pepper onion the trinity bell pepper onion and garlic at the bottom like with a little oil before i put in my ground beef or ground turkey whatever i'm feeling that day um that's like a staple for me if you already don't do it and then there's like this package seasoning called spaghetti seasoning. Um, I shop at Stata Brothers. I don't know where everybody's at, but it's called spaghetti seasoning and it just takes it to the next level. And also, instead of just getting like spaghetti sauce, try getting like mushroom flavored spaghetti sauce. It just deepens the flavor of your spaghetti and just takes it to another level. So that's that. And on to the next would be enchiladas. Okay, y'all, so this is like hard for me because I really, really love red and green enchiladas. But nine times out of 10, if I make enchiladas, I'm making green enchiladas because red enchiladas do give me heartburn in that, you know, I'm 30 now and now these, these older things are happening. <laughs> but green enchiladas, enchiladas, period, you should know how to make, like, easy and one of my tips was for sure don't use chicken breast chicken breast is dry um well let me not say chicken breast is dry chicken breast is easily can be dry so my suggestion is taking the boneless skinless tenders and cutting those up and using that as your replacement um i wouldn't even say using thigh meat that's a little weird on texture, but that's my tip is um, for sure using chicken tenders instead of um, chicken breasts. And I believe it's cheaper. I want to say you can get like a whole bag for like $10. So that's my tip. And also when making your sauce, if you're more power to you, if you're that girl that's going to roast her tomatillos and roast her garlic and make it from scratch, or you're the girl, me. <laughs> who buys the La Victoria and the, um, who else is it? The canned um, enchilada sauce. What I would say is add seasoning to it. So like cumin, cinnamon, it just, it's like a, un, you don't know what that is, but you're like, ooh, something's in this and it tastes so good. That's definitely gonna elevate your flavor for sure. Um, so that's a tip. And also, instead of white corn, I just feel like yellow corn not only looks better on the plate, it just tastes better to me. It may be a mental thing just seeing it, but like yellow corn tortillas is where it's at. That's my tip for that. 
And then my third, is that three? We did one spaghetti, two chicken enchiladas. My third, if you don't know how to make fried chicken, just exit. Just go ahead, go on to the next video, find something else. Fried chicken is a staple. You have to know how to make fried chicken. <laughs> like who doesn't know how to make fried chicken? But anyway, it's a staple. Fried chicken. And for me, it's fried wings. I'm not the chick that's doing dark meat, all that. Like I like wings, wings, wings. And some fried chicken wings, honey. Fire. <laughs> One of my tips for fried chicken wings is dipping it in whatever batter, batter whatever you put it in, um, and letting, deep, uh, letting it like, what is it called? Sit for a little bit. So don't just take the chicken. Don't just take the chicken. What am I trying to say? Don't just take the chicken straight from the refrigerator, put it in, in flour, and then straighten the oil. So you'll take it, do that, but let it just, let the flour become besties with the chicken let's say that let them hang out for a little bit um i would say probably like five minutes you don't want it out too long ain't nobody trying to get salmonella or ebola or anything like that but that's one of my tips and second tip for the chicken bonus tip <laughs> for sure i really make myself laugh if you guys haven't enjoyed if you guys haven't tell, like can't tell but anyway um second tip would be um letting the chicken if you have time if you didn't decide to do this like the night um the day of if you get the chicken before let it brine and when i say brine you put it in some salt like solution so that you're so that the the flavors are in the meat because a lot of times when you have fried chicken it's you just taste it on the outside in the coating but if you brine that chicken overnight or a couple hours not only is it going to be flavorful it's going to be juicy child so those are my tips on that. So we had enchiladas, spaghetti, fried chicken. Can y'all guess what number four is? What every person should know how to make. <laughs> tacos. If you don't know how to throw down on Taco Tuesday, like... Listen, it's Taco Tuesday. I love how they made it a whole like national week holiday, whatever. But Taco Tuesday, for sure, you should know how to make some tacos. And with tacos, the the star of the meal is the meat. And so my tip for the meat is do not be afraid to season your meat. You want to get into things like paprika, smoked paprika, cumin, garlic powder. Um, garlic powder. I don't usually use garlic salt. Pepper, all that good stuff, but you want to build some depth to your um, to your meat. So definitely playing with those um, seasonings will definitely elevate it. I mean, people, I know a lot of people use the taco seasoning packets. Those are cool. They're loaded with a whole bunch of salt, but um, I think a lot of times um, people get afraid of using different things. So they don't know what to use. So for sure, cumin, smoked paprika, garlic powder, um oregano i'm sorry i missed that one oregano and mexican dishes a one day one that is going to go take your taco from going to <laughs> so for sure know how to make some tacos last but not least honey sorry guys i guess my video like cut off in the middle my bad but anyway back into it Last but not least, drum roll, <laughs> is steak. I believe everyone should know how to make a good steak. I have, it was one of my first YouTube videos, but even though the quality of the video is trash, the, the steps of the videos are still what I do to this day. Um, a good steak, man, like, <sighs> I love it. But keeping it simple with steak. Sometimes people be trying to do extra. And with steak, just keeping it simple. Salt, pepper, butter, some thyme, and some garlic. And leaving it out, my tip 
For steak is leaving it out to come to room temperature, not taking it straight from the fridge or straight from the store and putting it in the pan, letting it come to room temperature and making sure that your pan is smoking, smoking, screaming, screaming hot. Um, so definitely want to turn on the vent and open some windows. But when I say that that crust that just forms from putting that in there, it's going to be something delicious. Like I said, I'll probably try to link it below the video of how to make the perfect steak, but I believe everyone should know how to make a perfect steak. You guys let me know how you guys eat your steak. I I used to eat it, is it medium rare? I used to eat it medium rare. Now I eat it medium well. Um, I don't know. I feel like with medium rare, I just, I think it was a little, like, it's weird because sometimes if it's too pink, it makes my stomach turn. But I don't, I can't do well done. Oh, that's, that's the tip. Forget the freaking bring, leave it out room temperature. If you eat a steak well done, you might as well not eat steak. Like, that's like chewing on a shoe. Don't do it. It's okay. A little red is not going to kill you. I don't care what your grandma say, what your mom say. You're not going to die from a little little pink. It's It just tastes better. It just feels better in your mouth. You know? You feel me? So those are my tips and staples that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um... And let me know if you guys like videos like this, like tips from the kitchen, from the chef, because I am culinary trained, even though um, some may not know, but I did go to school to learn how to cook. So I have a lot of knowledge and a lot of information that I do not mind sharing with you, but I definitely want, definitely, definitely, what accent is that? I wanted to get on here and just give you guys some tips that I believe every woman person should know. All right, you guys, you guys have a great one and I holla. Thank you.